Dinky dinky do, it's just me, Scotty McClue, widely regarded as the world's top broadcaster. This is just a midweek pop up on Periscope. It's Wednesday evening, it's just after five o'clock, Wednesday the 26th of April 2017. And I thought I'd just pop up and say hi to you, to say thank you, a very, very big thank you for everybody sharing all the Periscope broadcasts. And of course, come and follow me on Periscope, spread the word, get it round. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClure's broadcasting on Periscope. Quick, everybody pile in and watch him. It's absolutely massive. And of course, it is global. It's worldwide. And that's why I say to you a very warm welcome. Now, Scotty McClure, if you've never heard of me, you may be an alien life form from another planet and you've just found us for the first time. We broadcast live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms, at 10 o'clock sharp, 2200 hours on a Sunday night live at Scotty McClure's Facebook live page. So get yourselves well tuned into that because the whole world tunes in and it is a talk show. We have Skype, Scotty.McClue and you can come on and put your ideas and uh, say your piece. And we have built an audience for the world's top talk show. Absolutely huge, massive 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 appeal because people like to talk and they like to be heard and they like somebody that represents their views and Scotty McClure is the voice of the people that's why I'm the world's top broadcaster so what are we talking about today at the moment the British Prime Minister has called a snap general election for the 8th of June. Mrs May, Theresa May, the British Prime Minister, she's called a snap general election. Now, this has thrown everything into excited, chaotic disarray because the two mainstream parties, the uh, Labour Party and the Conservative Party, are in huge elements of disarray. They have internecine fighting. They've got this thing called Brexit at the moment to try and get out of Europe. And the people at the moment, this is what strikes me, is that the people do not feel properly represented. We've just undergone uh, conservative austerity, essentially to get the banks their money back from the banking crisis of nine years ago, 2008. And the banks have got their money back and the people can now borrow their money, their own money, back from the banks um, at a high interest rate. So that's what's going on at the moment. So people are very, very dischuffed with mainstream politics in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland at the moment. And I've only had just an idea. It's only just a breath of an idea, a gossamer of an idea. Uh, you know, if we're using a line from Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream. And that is that it's time for a new party. Now, it won't be in time for this election, but the party is called Independence. And when they talk of part, people who want independence breaking up Britain, they're not breaking up Britain. Brexit is breaking up Britain. And uh, the mainstream parties are breaking up Britain through intransigence. So at the moment, we're getting a lot of uh, anti-Scottish rhetoric from the Labour Party and anti-Scottish rhetoric from the Conservative Party. This, of course, as you can probably guess, has not gone down terribly well in Scotland itself. Now, Scotland will be independent, so I think they are going to be out of the equation. And um, the, the arrogance and the lack of um, meeting up, the lack of centre ground uh, between Westminster and Holyrood has got far too far removed. The tectonic plates have shifted. So what I'm suggesting is that we have a party called independence and it means it represents England and Ireland and Wales to become independent and to move away from central governance. Central government, it's Westminster. The days of the old British Empire are long, long, long forgotten. Scottish nationalism is nothing nothing to do with British nationalism. The two are the antithesis. They're not connected. So I think what's going to happen is that Scotland, as I say, will become independent and will get on with its life after being yoked up to Westminster for 310 rather unhappy years. The Scots are not fed up with talk of independence. The Scots are not fed up with talk of another referendum. All of Scotland did not 
say no to independence. Just over half said no, and a lot of that because of fear and because of a lack of hope. Now they have got hope, and hope takes the place over fear. Good will always triumph over evil. So that's what you've got there. So Scotland is going to go its own way. I can see that happening, but the Scots are certainly not breaking up Britain. And what I would suggest is that this new independence party, a representative of uh, England and Northern Ireland and Wales, and we do this under a commonwealth, the same as all countries have done who have left the uh, old British Empire, crown colonies and protectorates and what have you. So we're all under the umbrella of the crown. We're all looked after by that because there's no such country as Britain. There's no such country as the United Kingdom. The countries are Scotland and England and Ireland, Northern Ireland and Wales. So these are the countries, Scotland, England, Northern Ireland and Wales. These are the countries that make up at the moment the United Kingdom. As I say, it's probably imminent that Scotland's going to go its own way. And the other countries should all go their own way and embrace their culture. But we come together under the crown, under the British Commonwealth. And that's where I think our new politics should be heading. That's where I think there should be a difference. Think about it. It's only an idea. It's just coming out of the Scotty McClue think tank. But I can see where we can share resources in terms of defence, etc., that needs um, you know, a larger umbrella, but that comes from the Commonwealth. So there you are. So you're going to have an independent Scotland, England, Northern Ireland and Wales under the wonderful umbrella of the Crown, under the wonderful umbrella of the Commonwealth. And I think that's something which we should certainly all be looking at. So let's just see how this election shapes up, but have at the back of our wonderful minds that there is another way ahead, that there is a future for politics within the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is effectively the Commonwealth looks after it. There's a thought. There's a thought. Right. Uh, other things to look at. Scotty McClure will be live at 2200 hours, 10 o'clock sharp on uh, Sunday evening of course on facebook live one of the world's great broadcast platforms we're also broadcasting a lot on periscope so share and share and share everything you see in periscope and put the word out there tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 on periscope and twitter that scotty mcclue is broadcasting on periscope and can be found there and should be shared around as much as possible also, if you want to help out with an independent media and help out with the Scotty McClue show, then you can go fund me. Small amounts of money, £2, £5, £10, £50, £100, £1,000, whatever suits you, at gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue, or you can go on to PayPal. You can PayPal me, Scotty McClue, £5. And you'll see that link floating about social media also, you can get on to the Scotty McClue website. 10 million people have done that. www.scotty-mcclue.com and sign up there. You'll see the logos for GoFundMe and PayPal. Join me on LinkedIn. If you're a business person, then uh, get on and link in with me. Also, you'll see me on Google+. Plus. You'll see me on YouTube. Put in the Scotty McClue channel on YouTube and uh, look at the Scotty McClue videos. There's over 200 videos for your information, edification, education and delight. I've been informing education and entertaining the world for 25 years. Informing, educating and entertaining the world for 25 years. How fantastic is this? I am the world's top broadcaster. I shall leave all that with you and say to you, Viva you, viva vous, and uh, that's for the French and for the rest of you. Dinky do. Scotty McClue has left the building. Ta-ra,